If you're like me, you love an infraclavicular brachial plexus block. It's quick, dense, and complete. It's the spinal of the arm. And maybe you've heard about or considered doing the retroclavicular approach to the infraclavicular region, or the raptor block. It's got several advantages over traditional infraclaves, mostly to do with needle visualization and avoidance of vessels. And these are outlined in this complete how-to video. We love it. There's a reason this is our primary approach to the brachial plexus. But the raptor is often misunderstood and feared. For the novice, it does seem scary to advance a needle through the shadow of the clavicle. But once you've done one, you'll see just how not a big deal this is. You know what? Enough of me talking. Let's show you one from start to finish. The probe is in position over the anterior chest wall, showing the clavicle shadow and the axillary artery. Insert the needle posterior to the clavicle, about the same depth as the posterior part of the axillary artery, about two centimeters in this case. The first centimeter or two, you won't see your needle, but then, bing, you'll see it. As is nearly always the case, the needle is pointing directly to our target, just posterior to the axillary artery. We can see the lateral cord here, which is easy to avoid in this trajectory. As the tip gets close to the posterior cord, we begin to feel and see an evoked motor response. A small test injection shows we're in exactly the right spot, just deep to the axillary artery. And because of the flat trajectory, we're able to advance the needle slightly further to get that medial cord. There's the medial cord. But there's really no need to video game or try to redirect the needle to other spots. Once you're underneath the artery, you're in good shape. We'll get between 20 and 30 mils depending on the size of the patient. And that's it, you're done. Another awesome, easy Raptor.